Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this new Deco BE63. It's another Wi-Fi 7 mesh system from TP-Link. I'm gonna do my full-on speed test ratios using my following Wi-Fi devices. And let's take a quick look at the back before we unbox this thing. So we have a depiction of a mesh system, basically two or more units that work together to create a single larger network. In this case, we have one, two, three. And this is basically mesh systems are designed to eliminate Wi-Fi dead zones or if you have slow speeds in one corner of your house, it's designed to eliminate that basically. And this is a Wi-Fi 7 system, so it supports MLO, which is multi-link operation, which basically means that it can use all three bands concurrently to get better speeds in the wireless backhaul. And if you have Wi-Fi 7 devices like this one plus 11, it can actually get faster speeds because even this Wi-Fi 7 device can connect to all three at the same time, which results in better speeds. And so seamless AI driven mesh, and it also has some security built in. The Deco devices also offer Home Shield Pro, which gives you additional features, but that requires a separate subscription. So let's take a quick look, entering the Wi-Fi 7 area, and uh, era, <laughs> I'm like area. And again, one thing to note, Wi-Fi 7 devices, you can get a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system even if you don't have Wi-Fi 7 devices. So these things are backwards compatible with previous wireless standards. Okay, so we get a quick start guide and we're probably gonna, it's an ethernet cable. I imagine it's Cat5e or Cat6. It doesn't say what it is. And we're gonna get three power supplies just like Pretty much the normal look of these um, Deco BE. Pretty much most of the Decos have very similar power supplies. It is 100 to 240 volts and its output is 12 volts at 3.3 amps, which is a little over 36 um, watts. So 37, something like that. If I'm doing some quick math, summarizing my head. And we basically have two more of those, obviously. And yeah. So these are the mesh systems themselves. This thing looks pretty much identical to the BE85, kind of like the smaller brother, obviously smaller in size, but very similar in terms of looks. And very similar in size to the XE75, as you guys can see from a side by side, maybe a little bit taller, but very, very similar in size. Okay, looking at the ports, we have a WPS button, we have four 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports, and they are auto sensing, which means that no matter which one you hook up your modem to, it'll automatically figure it out. And then we have a USB 3.0 port, which I imagine is for sharing your hard drive on your network, and the power port right here. And on the bottom, we have a reset, so that's gonna require a pin to go in there if you wanna do a factory reset. And the other two are actually exactly the same with the same ports, and if you're wondering, all three of these are actually routers, but within the same network, only the one hooked up to your modem or on T or DSL is acting as the router. The other two are automatically acting as nodes. This is done automatically in the Deco app. So I set these up as my main mesh system and this thing is solid. I mean, there were no drops, nothing like that, nothing abnormal, just, just amazing. Set it up, works perfect. And I did a, get a chance to do all my speed test range tests, so let's jump straight in, starting with the internet speed test. But let me just quickly ask if you guys can take a quick second to smash that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. I have a whole bunch more mesh Wi-Fi router videos coming up. But if pretty much you guys make this all possible, so thank you guys right off the bat. Now, let's jump straight in with the internet speed test. And as you guys already know, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds, unless of course the router itself is limiting those speeds, when in my case, this is. So my internet speeds are five gigabits upload and download, and this is actually capping those internet speeds to 2.5 gigabits, because as soon as it goes in, well, all of these ports are 2.5 gigabits, that's what it's being capped to. Now, when I do a speed test on my computer via ethernet, I get those speeds no problem, and with the Wi-Fi 7 device, I actually almost got to those speeds, which was very, very impressive. And Wi-Fi 6E did very well, also not quite as well, but it is only connecting to one of the bands, the 6 gigahertz band during the speed test. Still get some crazy fast numbers, and pretty much for anything that I need to do on my phone at those speeds, it's just absurdly good. Okay, 
But now to find out the true performance of this mesh system, I do need to do a local speed test. So I make my computer to the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired or wireless backhaul, I go from my Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the primary one, which then goes to the server. And I, I've made a whole separate video on this where I go into this into great detail. So links below if you guys are interested. Now, Looking at these results, we can definitely see that the Wi-Fi 7 is literally just, I mean, a blink away from getting to those 2.5 gigabit speeds. So it's pretty much maxing out. I, I could safely say that. And Wi-Fi 6E doing phenomenal. The fact that Wi-Fi 6E download speed was almost starting with a 2 is absurdly good. And the same is true for the wired backhaul because we have, again, we have more than one 2.5 gigabit port. So when the internet comes in and then it goes out, goes into the other one, well, everything is 2.5 gigabit. I do have CAT7 cables, which support up to 10 gigabit. So I get those same speeds on wired backhaul as I did on the single router configuration, which is to be expected. But the wireless backhaul was phenomenal. Based on the speed rating, I actually got phenomenal wireless backhaul numbers. There is no mesh system I've tested to date that has better wireless backhaul numbers for this price or less. Now, the Deco BE85 does have better wireless backhaul numbers than this. The Orbi 970 also has better wireless backhaul numbers than this. However, those do cost more. But right off the bat, the numbers coming out of this thing is insane. And really, the best way of describing this thing is that it's kind of like a supercharged Deco XC75 with Wi-Fi 7 capabilities. I mean, that's kind of how I see this thing, because, and I love the Deco XC75 for the price. But this thing is just on another level of fast. Very impressed with the numbers. Now, we get into range test. Now, range will vary vastly by location. So if you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers around, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. Essentially, more obstructions, typically less range. Now, when I do these tests, now I cap them to 100 feet. I used to go a lot farther, but I just want to keep things very simple and organized, so I'm going to cap them to 100 feet. In my particular case, this can easily go Past that, obviously, speeds will slow down as I get further away, but it can go farther than that, in case you guys are wondering, in my particular case. Now, at 20 feet away inside my place, there is a drop, uh, mostly in the upload section, but still very, very solid numbers. At 50 feet, this is when I'm outside. Obviously, there's a bigger drop in this case, but you'll notice that most of the drops are happening more with the upload section. Obviously, there is a huge drop with the download section as well, but still... Um, Still very, very fast, very usable numbers. And even at 100 feet across the street, still getting some solid performance out of this thing. Now, for setup and configuration, use the Deco app, which is available both on iOS and on Android. And it's one of my favorite apps because it's very simple to use and has a very clean interface. And it also has a decent number of options. So it's not, if you're used to ASUS, then the options are very minimized compared to that. But it does typically have more options than some other brands like Eero. Um, and it, I think they pretty much put the main options that people would ask for. Now, as far as SSIDs, you have a few choices. So you can make one SSID, which is your main one. Uh, for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, you can make a separate one for the 6 gigahertz. And then you can make another one for the 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz, which is called the MLO, the multi-link operation SSID, which is um, the devices can all see the MLO one and see that assuming they could see 5 or 6 gigahertz band. So not really like the smart home devices, but like phones and laptops and things like that do see the MLO one. They can connect to it, but the only Wi-Fi 7 devices, when it connects to that, fully utilizes that MLO because it can connect to two bands concurrently and get pretty much the speeds from both. That's why the Wi-Fi 7 devices are so much faster. And one thing to quickly note, I also have the Pixel 8 Pro, which is a Wi-Fi 7 device, just like the Pixel 8 is. But for some reason, as of now, the Pixel 8 or the 8 Pro cannot as far as it seems, cannot do MLO. It connects to one band. It can't connect to two 
uh, bands at the same time, unlike the OnePlus 11. So when I do the speed test with this, it's not going to be as fast as when I do it with the OnePlus 11. So, and that has nothing to do with this deco. I've ran this on all my other Wi-Fi 7 systems. It has the same issue, and I've mentioned this in some of the other videos. All right, so... Aside from that, you can obviously make a guest network if you wanted to, and you can, you know, you can run this thing in access point mode or router mode. You could set up uh, VPN stuff. You can reserve IP addresses. You can turn off the LED during certain times. You get parental controls included in the price and a decent number of options as well. Now, they do offer a separate subscription if you want more options in the parental controls, but um, I think for what they offer, it's, it's, pretty pretty good uh for something it's not like oh just pause and not pause like you can actually like filter some stuff you could block some websites and and you have a little bit of play with like the time setting not super um not a lot because that one part of that if you want super customization you do need to pay for that uh, but generally speaking um it's it's solid um so who is this for because that's really <sighs> That's really what this video is about. So who is this mesh system for? And really, this is an all around, I, I want to say perfect. Um, it's, it's a phenomenal mesh system for anyone with internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. Wired backhaul is amazing. Wireless backhaul is amazing. Range is very good. Um, Deco app itself is clean super easy to set up and just works it's it and it's just it like i said earlier it's kind of like the xc75 it's kind of like a super supercharged slash turbocharged xc75 that's kind of how i it, it's it's just fantastic but let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below and as always smash that subscribe button i have way more videos coming up um, in fact, the Deco X50 PoE, in fact, I tested this before I even tested this. I just got to make the video on this, but I have that. I have some other comparisons coming along with routers and mesh systems. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.